I welcome everybody. We're doing episode zero because episodes one and two don't really show the intro to this game here called Endless Sky. I used to play something similar to this game back when I was in sixth, seventh grade. I can't even remember how long ago from Jesus, man. Back when those iMac IMAX from Apple had those colorful little bulbs on the back. I don't know if I got a picture of it here. I'll put one in later. But yeah, basically. It's an old school, you can think of it like a hybrid RTS, real-time action space shooting game where all the space combat is done in real time and all the uh, boarding and uh, pillaging aspect is done like in the background. Like They determine your attack power, your def their defense power on whether or not you want to pillage them or you want to jump into the ship to help them because they got their shields taken down before getting blown up obviously but in this case it's basically off based off an old game called escape velocity uh, i think by ambrosia software which is now defunct i don't think they exist anymore there's the song that's the jam right there to let you know you're ready to get into some shit you'll find a playable version unless you have a really old Mac to run it or if you have a PC that can run whatever type of file this type of game was but for now let's just go back to the game that I want to play That's basically what we're looking at here. So, grew up on New Boston, blah, blah, blah. We've always wanted a starship since 15 years old. Finally saved credits. Get a loan, all right. There we go, so you can see it's all text. No voiceovers. Basically, it loads a generic story for you, for you to create your own story at this point. That's what we're doing here. Let's see, blah, 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 loan broker's office, yeah, of course it's a loan, right? Okay. Ah, damn. That's like in real life, the interest rate is always gonna get you. This is why I don't have all but one credit card in real life. Alright. Let's do it, baby. Mm -hmm. Bank, you're smiling. You're going to do it, baby. You're going to finally get off this planet. You don't give a damn about the price because you just want the adventure, damn it. You're here for the fun. That's what you're here for. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, three ship. Oh, all right. I remember shuttles from Escape Velocity. We're not doing that. It's cheap, but... <clears throat> 338 and I have 4,800. Nah. Syndicate? Nah. Huh. 42. And 395. So, so you want to look at cargo space because your first few missions are pretty much going to be carrying shit around well damn 15 tons of cargo space compared to 50 jesus christ all right common target for pirates because they are to carry vavica and because they are too slow to evade any attack yep no we're not doing that so i'll sacrifice making a little bit of money with less space right now Okay, government reports in two out of every three first time pirates who choose the pirate spread lose their ship within the first month. 
pilots who have survived longer than tend to swear by you placing the stock weapons submission. Oh, that's what we're gonna do then. And you gotta look at all this shit. Yeah, cost. Shields, hull, cargo, and a few movement full with no cargo. Engines, later on you'll see how complicated this gets. If escape velocity is one thing, I can only imagine this fan made homage to escape velocity in the sky is gonna be exactly the same fucking thing. There we go. Sparrow. Let's do SS. Sparrow for now. The goal at the end of the game is to get a Kestrel type of ship. Mainly, I think pirates own that ship back in Escape Blast. So let's see if they call a Kestrel a pirate owned ship. Here we go. Cool. So bought it. Leap. All right. Get out and look at the ship. Rust spots. Ah, it's not even fucking brand new for the price I paid for it. Old man in grease stain coveralls. I quite like buying a first star shit. Oh my god. Beat it, old timer. I'm like, no, 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 no. Respect the old man. He might. You never know. It's the old dudes that have all that knowledge. Oh, let's be nice to this guy. All right. Something much nicer before long. Yeah, damn right. I'm sure you would. Power buyer, sir, and believe me, and once you start managing crew and paying salaries, keep track of a whole fleet, you'll miss these days when everything was simple. Man. You a captain? Whoa, she says, sold off my fleet a few days ago. I already miss it. Time for to retire. Say, any chance I can hit you about you, show you the ropes, give you some pointers? Show me pointers and pay me? Like, yeah, all right, we'll do it. Got a spot reserved in retire home. I don't mind taking a roundabout way to get there. Giving you a lift to New Greenland. One jump away. Uh, who cares about the money, dude? My experience. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look forward to traveling with you, Captain Naka. Says James. All right. Let's go. Before we take off, trade center, medical goods. Okay, buy some medical goods and sell for profit in New Greenland. So what you do is you buy low. Yeah, just like real life. You buy low and you sell high. All right. So trading. Here we go. What's low here? Medical goods. There we go. All right. Zero space is free because I filled all 15 spots of my cargo with medical goods. And let's go to the spaceport. Bank. Job. Current mission. Passage. New Greenland. All right. So there you go. I'm on Rukulus. I got to go Arturus. The blue... King right here shows active job go here to complete and as you can see the lines those are jump points i'm assuming red means available job i can accept it okay date and from here okay cool selected system click one jump away okay done so now when i go back to the menu hit the jump button oh and there's my uh there's my mortgage. Ah. And I got 29,150. Alright, so. Yeah, they immediately start janking this shit. Okay. What else? Here? We got a shipyard to go here. Ah, eh, three basic ships. Okay. Alright. Oh, and there's commentary from other ships already. Ooh. Looks fitting. Yeah. So how do you ship? Hmm. Hmm. Let's jump. Okay, shows a little map there. And L is to land. You hit L, I'm like, oh, okay, it does it automatically. You don't have to. Nice. You don't have to navigate your ship. Autopilot just lands. Cool. That's awesome. That's what you're going to have to do when you hear the alarm and pirates or an opposing faction starts attacking. You don't want to get shot too much, especially with a tiny little dinky ass ship at the beginning. Then again, most place, most people will leave you alone because you're not a threat. You're nobody right now. But later on, once you have a bigger ship and you start beating, beating people up, then yeah, as soon as you jump into a ship that's not a friendly territory because you killed some people in that area, then yeah, they're gonna... Oh, there you go. 
Hit L right away and land your ass if you can, if they'll let you. Here's your paint. Ooh, 10,000. Yeah. Oh, you get it right away, too. I want that cargo. Well, oh, click the spaceport button to continue this mission. All right. So, trading. We're going to sell. Oh, medium. So, we bought it low and we're going to sell at a medium price. So, well, so 34,144. Ooh, 44,000. All right, spaceport. There he is. Find James. There you are. Says Captain Elder here. Says his two ships have hand the pirates. Looking for an escort. Pretty interested. Sure. All I got to do is jump and land fast. You don't even have to fight. Okay, no mayor or fresh pilot. You know, we'll never be offered a mission, so try not to mess things up. We don't have to kill them. We just got to make sure the convoy isn't destroyed. You can go. Skipping fighters or so, you need to stick around and make sure they're behind you. Okay. I think you hold J, wait for them to catch up to you, then let go of J, and then you initiate the jump. That way you all jump at the same time. All right. Let's do it. All right. There we go. Ooh, I'm already getting attacked. All right, let's do it then. There, maybe? Okay. You don't have a map, so you got to kind of figure it out. You got to hope that the place you're jumping to connects to this spot right here. I think if you can manage it... Nope, you can't. Station. Okay, let's land here first. Let's refuel. Get our shields back. Oh yeah, they're not dead. Okay, cool. Shit, did I not get my... Okay, that connects. New whales. Let's go to new whales. Fuck, fuck, fuck. There we go. Okay, my fuel's back up. Okay, so that's fuel. I have enough for one, two, three jumps before I run out. I'm assuming this blue ring is my shield. And shield, hull, and critical. I'm assuming when shield and hull are down to red, my ship is just floating around lifeless. They can board me, they can jack my shit, and if they really wanted to, they can kill me. All right. Temperature, I'm assuming, is for combat. Energy. No, energy. Here's your energy thing for your combat weapons. All right. Once that hits zero, you can't fire your weapons. All right. Red. And I'll figure it out as I go. Oh, shit. Right away, huh? All right. So I can see right here, my shield did go down. Come on, jump fast, jump fast, jump fast, jump fast. There we go, land, land right away, land right away. Oh. Okay, not bad for first six minutes. So, uh... Got a hankering for some dangerous missions. Come find me at the spaceport. All right. Carrying cargo, so if you ship, so it will only ship you after all 15 tons of space. Okay, I do. All right. A little brief history about the planet from Two Rice. 59,000 credits. Yeah. Let's go to the bank. All right. Pay a little extra. Let's 
under management of the mines. Here's the deal. Every shipment we send has been attacked by a pirate ship. Fast as they come, baby. I have a fast ship. Not as fast as the Millennium Falcon, but can't chase me down. This is one thing clear. This is not your David and Goliath moment. Hammer shields are 10 times stronger. You're in it. We've been perfecting to the moment we're in the sky. Hits three pirate sites. Don't even wait around to see if the hammer's coming or not. Got it. I ain't gonna fight this shit. Nope. As bad as you say it is, then shit, I don't want it. Let's go to. Yeah, I can hit M from here. Alright. Uh from the planet activity here. Alright. Hold on. Let's go to the uh Yeah, okay. No outfitter, so I can't buy a map. Alright. Uh let's hope it's this way. Hate to go the wrong way. No, you don't. Oh, shit. That's the hammer. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's the hammer. All right. Okay, let's do it. Let's see here. That'll be enough. Nothing to land there. So, oh, it connects. Oh, that's all I need. Nobody in my, nobody in my vicinity. Two ships just jumped in. Not the pirate ship. Land, baby. Land, land, land. Any ships nearby? Nope. Cool. Looks like I made it. Oh, there's the pirate ship right there. Yeah, I'm sure you want to still be pirate spare. I can't wait till I got a ship big enough to stand up to pirates. Take one more journey. Or do it. <laughs> okay, retirement home. All right. Where he's going? Shit. All right, where are we going? Let's go to outfit the scene. We got a map. Yes, we got a map. Thousand credits. Yeah, there we go. Buy it now. When you hit him, there you go. See, you got the connecting points, so you don't go get fucking. See, if I would have gone to Lolami, I would not have had a connecting point. Okay, so now I know I gotta go to here. If you hold Shift here and here, and it. Plots of course, so when you hit J, you go one, two, boom, three jumps. All right, that's what we're doing. God damn, so they take 2,498 credits in mortgages, so almost 3,000 every time I leave a planet or every time I jump. Let's see, 85, 82. Yep, every time I jump. Good lord, all right. And jump one last time. All right. And it says, oh, no, you have a mission that requires landing on the system you're jumping to. Sounds like a battle's going on. Oh, no, it's not a battle. Just a dude mining. All right. All right. In a suit. Oh. How do I look? You look great. Let's look. Exclusive retirement communities. Oh. I'm rich enough to be here, but it's just going to say someone who made his fortune by himself. Where do you go? Is there anything else you'd like to ask me about New Union Pipe? Alien power. Ooh, alien power.
clearance. April 22nd Earth Day, better jobs around Earth. Cool. Mm. That's it. Best of luck, Tim. Season 7. Bring Pookie home? Alright. Sounds like a rich lady wanting her dog back or some shit. Alright, let's go. Alright, and there you have it, everybody. That's basically the intro. You're a new green horn. Trying your luck out. Trying to make a living. You are a Palida. Friendly, shipper has been visited. Cool. What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's how they do it. So if I had luxury goods, I could sell them for that price right there. All right. All right. So let's see what the retirement home has for ships. Ooh. Ooh. God damn, 5.6 million. Yep. Biggest fuck. Cargo. Oh yeah, 60 tons. Yeah, we can carry a lot of shit. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So we, they got him classified. Heavy fighter, freighter, not fighter, interceptors, light, medium warship, heavy warship, Leviathan class. And many fighters, if you really want to go that route. Okay. Okay, so that's the whole fucking universe. It's pretty big. If you zoom out a lot. Yeah, we'll zoom right down. Okay. So port. Oh. Okay, more flavor text. Damn, they put a lot of work into this shit. I mean, tell this is people who love the original game. And mission. There we go. Okay. So click on that. Too little space to accept. There you go. So two tourists. I have cargo space, but I don't have bunk space. That's the thing. Can't put them in the cargo hold. Kind of like that. Especially wealthy people. They won't go in the fucking cargo hold. One bunk man. Two tourists. Shit. What if they're a couple? Just share the bed. Shit. Beep. Can't accept. So this I can accept because it's 11 tons. A250 credits. And 14 space for 11. Okay. That's how it works. Rush delivery. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember these. Rush delivery means you have to be there by Monday, December 3013. That's the problem is today's date. So December 6th. So supposedly the way it used to work is one day passes for every jump. So if you don't have the route and if you go the wrong way, and actually remember over here, went from Tanya to Lalami, that's one day. Then to go back is two days, three days. Four days, boom. Let's say if let's say the planet was up here. Five days, boom. You just wasted four days to get there, boom. The mission would be an automatic failure. Not only did you waste time, you wasted fuel, you wasted money, and you don't get the fourteen thousand nine hundred and fifty credits. So anything with the rush on it is great, but I would avoid these fucking missions like the plague unless you really like it. I mean, I don't. I avoided those back in the old game. I am not going to do them in this game. All right. So, Pookie. God damn. Okay. So we'll save Pookie for my main accounts because, yeah. 
I am not jumping that far, which is why I don't even have a map. Says that's, there's probably like five more, five, six more planets here. Worst case scenario that I haven't mapped yet. Plus one, that doesn't connect. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12. I, can, I have to refuel like three, four times on the ship I have now. And I have a better ship on my main account. So we're going to be continuing the story there. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and see you then.